Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, today we are going to study English with the story John loves to read books. John loves to read books. First, let us practice some vocabulary. The first one is adjective. Adjective. Adjective spells A-D-J-E-C-T-I-V-E. -E. Adjective. And next one, animal. Animal. Animal spells A-N-I-M-A-L. Next one, book. Shelf. Bookshelf spells B-O-O-K-S-H-E-L-F. Next one, bookstore. Bookstore it spells B-O-O-K-S-T-O-R-E. Next one, cloudy. Cloudy spells C-L-O-U-D-Y. Next one, collect. Collect spells C-O-L-L-E-C-T. Next one, grade. Grade spells G-R-A-D-E. Next one, history. History spells H-I-S-T-O-R-Y. Next one, impress. Impress spells I-M-P-R-E-S-S. -S. Next one, rainy. Rainy spells R-A-I-N-Y. The last one, smart. Smart spells S-M-A-R-T. Now let us read a story. Reading a book is fun. Books make you smarter. They also make you a better read reader. John loves to read books. He reads books on sunny days. He reads books on cloudy days. And he reads books on rainy days. John has read many books. He read his first book in second grade. Okay, this one looks like read a present tense. But this is actually past tense and it sounds read. He read his first book in second grade. His teachers were impressed. So this one, past participle sounds T because this is voiceless. Impressed. His teachers were impressed. John was a good student. He had the uh, highest grade in class. John learned. So this ED sounds like D because this N is voiced. John learned a lot by reading books. He learned new words. So ED again. So this sounds like D. He learned new words. He learned new verbs. So ED again D. He learned new adjectives. He learned new adjectives. John reads. So this one present tense. John reads every day. He has learned. So this sounds D because this is voice voiced. He has learned about the world. He has learned about history. He has learned about animals. He has learned about people. John loves to learn. He learns something new every day. John has many books. He has large bookshelves. They are full of books. John collects books. He has bought books at bookstores. John wants to read every book in the world. Now there are five scrambled sentences. As we uh, unscramble each one of them, let us practice some uh, pronunciation. First one. Okay. So you looks like uh, you looks like the subject, but in a way this is an object. And then smarter. Okay, this is the verb. So books make you smarter. Books make you smarter. Next one. Okay. So subject is uh, John, and John loves to read books. John loves to read books. And next one, 
Then we have the subjective case here. He, and then we need to find the verb, which could be read. So this is not read, because uh, there is no S. So this is read. He read what? He read first book. Okay. First book, his first book. His first book when? In second grade. He read his first book in second grade. And next one, he is the subject. And the verb is he has learned. He has learned about the world. He has learned about the world. And then the last one, okay, he is the subject. And then learns is the verb. He learns new things. He learns something new, okay, something new every day. He learns something new every day. Okay, let us go back to the beginning of uh, uh, just the first sentence. Books make you, so you can read it together. Make, make, and make you. Books make you smarter. John loves to read, so read this together. Love, loves and loves to, loves to, loves to read books. He read his first book, read his, read, and H is silent, read his, read his. He read his first book in second grade. So when you read this part, you don't have to pronounce it, just second grade. He read his first book in second grade. Next one, he has learned, okay, here, learned about, learned, learned, and then a, uh, learned about, learned about the world, he has learned about the world. The last one, he learned something, so this S and this S come together, so you can cancel the first essay, he learned, he learned something, he learned something new every day. He learns something new every day. So let us go uh, to back to the first sentence. Books is the subject, and make is the verb, and you is the object. Books make you smarter. Books make you smarter. Next one. John is the subject, and loves is the verb. John loves to read the books. And then he is the subject, and read is the verb. His first book is the object. He read his first book in second grade. He read his first book in second grade. And next one, he has learned about. Okay, we talked about this, right? He is the subject and has learned is the verb. And then about the word is going to be uh, the adverbial of phrase. And finally, he subject learns verb something and it's going to be object new every day something new is going to be uh, objective complement anyway he learns something he learns something new every day books make you smarter john loves to read books he read his first book in second grade he has learned about the world he learns something new every day Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.